What are you doing? Mate, I'm just playing guitar here over my bed. Well, why? I think we need to be doing a video. We, we are doing a video. We're doing a video on this room, mate. This is like one of the most teched out rooms in my entire house. But the whole fact is you, you just don't know there's tech in here. But there's tech everywhere. Like I've got guitar hero, surround sound. We're doing a video on this room. Should we crack on? Might as well get on with it then, mate. Let's go. Let's go. My name is Alex and welcome to Take Flow. This video has taken a long time coming because my bedroom has taken a long time to get to a point where I think it is well now finally complete. I'm going to take you guys through all of the tech in there and how it's all hidden away. That was one of my main goals with my bedroom wasn't to have not a lot of tech in there. I wanted tech in there, don't get me wrong because me, well I'm a massive nerd, but I wanted it all hidden. So let's see how I've done it. So the main piece to the massive puzzle, which is my smart bedroom, is the smart bed. Now, luckily enough for you guys, we've done an entire video on this smart bed, so if you want to check that video out after this one, we'd highly recommend you do so. But the main thing is this Sony TV here in the end of the bed. So taking care of the visuals, right at the end of the bed, there's the Sony 42-inch 4K TV. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is link all the products in the description so you guys know exactly where to go and purchase all of this. And then taking care of the sound quality. No, I'm not using the TV's inbuilt speakers because that wouldn't be very miles bar. I've actually got a 5.1 surround sound system tucked up there in the roof in the form of, well, ceiling speakers. And then there's one subwoofer over there in the cupboard. And all of this together, coupled with the room not really being that big, yields some absolutely really loud, boomy sound, which goes really well with the awesome 4K picture that that Sony TV can give off. And actually, funnily enough, 4K TVs are my favorite from Sony because they just absolutely nail the quality. I'm not sure how they do it. Now, what links all of this together and how do those speakers in the roof that have no visible cables and this TV that has no visible cables that hides in the end of the bed, how does it all link together? Well, the magic actually doesn't happen in this room, in the bedroom. It happens out the bedroom in the upstairs cupboard. This is where it's all pieced together. So when you open this cupboard up, you instantly see a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One X, and an Apple TV. Now this is what I use for all of my entertainment in that room, coupled with a couple of other bits as well, which we'll go over later. So it would have been a really, really hard task to go ahead and run separate HDMI cables for all of these peripherals down the wall, behind the TV, underneath the bed, and up to the TV. That would have just been really, really difficult. So instead what I've done is made things a little bit easier, and up here on a shelf hidden away is actually a 7.1 channel amplifier from Yamaha. Now I don't even think they sell this anymore, but you can get different variants of it, so I'll link the closest one too in the description. But essentially this has a bunch of HDMI ports on the back as to which you can plug in, well, your consoles, like I have the PlayStation, the Xbox, and, and the Apple TV, and there's actually a Chromecast up there, more on that later. And then all you have to simply do is feed one HDMI master cable from the amplifier over to the TV. And then the amplifier also takes care of all the audio needs and drives all the speakers that are in the roof. So essentially, you plug everything into the amplifier, the amplifier then sends the picture to the TV, and sends the audio to the speakers in the roof. And that is how I have done this. And the main reason I really, really like having this amplifier is because, well, essentially it's all controlled via your phone. So when you first set up the amplifier, you set up what's called scenes. And now all I have to do is open my phone, open the Yamaha app on there, and then, well, simply choose either Xbox One, PlayStation, Chromecast, Apple TV, or whatever I want. And what I also did was made sure that my HDMI cable supports ARC, which stands for Audio Return Channel, because this Sony TV in the end of the bed is actually a smart TV. So if I want to use the smart features, let's say watch some YouTube videos, but I still want the sound to come out the roof, well, that's more than capable of happening, because what happens is the sound travels back to the amplifier, and then the sound from the smart TV will come out the ceiling speakers. The amp is more than intelligent enough to automatically know that that's what I'm doing. So this is a really uniform system that works really well and is all controlled off your phone. And because it has ARC, the audio return channel, that means the HDMI cable can also control the TV. So you turn the amp on and that also 
turns the TV on, which means that I don't need to have a TV remote lying around. All I need is my smartphone and a controller for the console of choice, or my Apple TV remote, which I can still also control from my iPhone. So all I really need is my phone, and I have all of this entertainment, great 4K picture quality, great sound quality, and essentially, we're just cooking on gas. Now, one extra awesome little feature that I've set up on my amplifier is the fact that it has a priority HDMI port. And in the priority HDMI port, what I've plugged into there is a Chromecast 4K. Now, the priority port essentially means that if the Chromecast activates whatever is on the TV, the Chromecast will take its place. So that means that I can go to my Google Home, which is actually mounted under my bedside table, and ask it to play a certain song from Spotify onto the Chromecast, and with the power of my voice, my amplifier has been turned on, and I'm now listening to my favorite Spotify playlist or song through the bedroom speakers. And I've even got voice controlled volume through the Google Home because it's got that Chromecast plugged into the amp. So I don't even need to turn the amp on, I just say, okay, play X song, and off I go. I'm listening to my tunes. And obviously with having a Google Assistant at my disposal, I thought I may as well smash out all of the lighting too. So in the roof, I've actually got six GU10 bulbs from Philips Hue. These are the color changing GU10s. So you can actually have whatever color you want by the power of your voice. And then I've also got two lights either side of the bed. These have just got smart plugs plugged into them. So with the command of turn on or off the lights, it turns on all the lights in the roof and both the bedside lights. Really, really simple, and it all just works so, so well. And then, last but not least, oh, well, I've almost forgot these. Now the blinds are actually powered by a service called Somfy. I'm not going to explain too much about what Somfy is because it's kind of hard to set up, but the blind company did it for me when they came and installed the blinds. Every blind on the first floor of my house does have this Somfy enabled feature, so you can just tie it to your smart assistant and with the command open or close X blind or all of the blinds, you can then just control absolutely everything in my bedroom by the sound of your voice. So there you go. That is my ultimate smart bedroom tour in essentially a little nutshell video on TechFlow. If you guys want us to go even more in depth as to maybe the little cupboard with all the amplifiers in or the Somfy system, then drop a like rating on the video and we'll definitely figure out how we can do that. But for now, there's your tour. That's what happens in my bedroom. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Guys, adios. Guys, if you want to check out some of our other smart videos, you definitely can because we've got some on the channel. You can click right there. And if you're not subscribed, we'd appreciate it. The subscribe button is right there.